Yes, well, the first question says, which segment best defines productive efficiency? When the, there's productive efficiency, when your marginal cost equals to your average revenue, mm -hmm. that is productive, average, average total cost, sorry. Your MC equals to your ATC, that is when there's productive efficiency. Then say, it is not possible to increase profit by changing the level of production, no. It is not possible to make anyone better off without others becoming worse, that's not the point. It is not possible to produce the level of output at a lower unit cost, that's the answer. Mm -hmm. Because we said our average total cost, equals to our marginal cost. So it is not, it's difficult to produce with at a low level if you have to meet up with your average total cost. Okay. That's how I see. They said medical researchers indicated that drinking too many sugary drinks is bad for health. Government intervention to impose a tax on the sale of sugary drinks might help solve which market failure. Negative externalities of consumption, yes. It's a, it's a market failure because it's, a thought, it's an external cost. Okay. Then negative externalities of production. It doesn't concern the business. Businesses will produce. It's not their problem. Mm -hmm. But the third point, overconsumption of demerit goods. Yeah, it's a demerit good because it's been considered by the health experts that taking too much of sugar mm -hmm. is bad for the health. And demerit goods are goods that cause harm to the health. Mm -hmm. So that means the answer is C. Is it clear? Right, okay, we'll go to question three. <laughs> the government uses a cost-benefit analysis approach to to infrastructure projects. It is considering building a new railway to link a city center to its airport. It estimates the following. Private costs, social costs, private benefit, external benefits. Uh, we, have our, we have our social cost to be 1.7, which is inclusive of the private cost. So that means our external cost there is seven. That is the point there. Mm -hmm. Then we have our private benefit to be 0 0.5, our external benefit to be 1.8. So social benefit is external, private benefit plus external benefit, which is 2.3. Okay. So 2.3 minus 1.7. So that means our external social benefit exceeds our social cost. Okay. Do you get the point? Yeah. Our social cost is 1.7. Our social benefit is 2.3. So that means our social benefit exceeds our social cost. Okay. So that means the government should proceed on it, yes or no? Mm -hmm. The government should proceed because the social benefit exceeds the social cost. So the answer is D. Okay. Is it clear? Correct. Question four. A consumer currently consumes 10 units of good X and 10 units of good Y at point Z on, a, on an indifferent curve. The consumer marginal utilities from consuming both goods, both good X and Y are positive. So if they are positive, that means when they combine them together, they must not exceed 20. Mm -hmm. So which combination of these goods would be on the same indifferent curve as point Z? It has to be 20. So it can't be B, it can't be C, it can't be D, it is A. It has to have a combination of 20 because it's going to curve Z. Yes, yes, yes. So the answer is A. Okay. Question five. The diagram shows two and different curves and two budget lines for goods X and Y. The consumer's initial equilibrium is point R. There is a shift in the budget line from Y1, X1 to Y2, X2. And the new equilibrium for the consumer's point S, what can definitely be concluded about the X. So look at the point here. The budget line is moving from, it's shifting rightward. From Y1, X1 to Y2, X2, it's shifting rightward. So if your budget line is shifting rightward, it means your level of income has increased. Mm -hmm. Fine. So if your level of income has increased, and now the equilibrium quantity consumed is moving upward to towards X, towards X, towards S. Mm -hmm. So that means to towards good Y. Towards good Y, good Y. Okay. So what would have happened to good X? It would have meant that if your level of income is increasing and you are reducing the quantities consumed of a certain good, it would have meant that the good is what an inferior good. Okay. So that means good X is an inferior good because mm -hmm. now we are buying more of good Y. Okay. So buying more of good Y as a result of our budget line shifting rightward means our level of income has increased. So inferior goods are goods that we consume more. And when our level of income falls, we consume them less when our level of income increases. Okay. So if our budget line increases, shift rightward, it means that product that we stop consuming That's is good. an inferior good. Okay. Is it clear? Exactly. So we we'll go to, so the answer is B. Yeah. We we'll go to C. What Question are six. the correct formula for calculating average cost and average revenue? AC is TC divided by Q. Mm -hmm. And AR is TR divided by Q. So the answer is C. Seven. 
What is all of this anti-monopolistic competition and perfect competition in the long run? In the long run, the average revenue equals to the average cost. Mm -hmm. The answer is A. Okay. Question eight. A firm maximizes its profits by maximizing its total revenue with just this empire. If a firm is maximizing its profit by maximizing its total revenue, that means there's nothing like the marginal cost. Mm -hmm. So the marginal cost is zero. Okay. That's B, C, sorry. Question mm -hmm. nine. What will, what will happen to an industrial supply firm if firms live in the industry? If firms live in industry, that means output in that industry would fall. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Right. So it will shift the supply curve leftward okay, so at any given price. So that's A. Yes, please. Yes. Question 10. Which characteristic of a market is a reason for a firm to remain small? You should remain small because you have limited financial capacity. Mm, so that's D. D, yes. A, what is an 11. example? 11. What is an example of principal agent problem? This major problem will come when the owners, the uh, the objective of the owners are different from the objective of the managers or the directors. Mm, which is more important? Oh, the oh. objects of the... The objects of the owners uh -huh. or the objects of the director. Yeah. That's why it's principal agent problem. The owners employ the directors to carry out their own objectives, right? Yeah. But now the director feels like, no, this is what is important right now, not that. Directors might think about expansion. Yeah. Owners might think about profit. So that's the principal agent problem. So which is going to be taken? Ah, so yeah, no, I don't know. It depends on whatever they agree upon. Well, like more critically, in, uh, the directors. Yeah. Because the, they know yeah, more. They're... Yeah, because yes. So yeah, the directors. The director's yeah, objective, directors. yeah. I'm just taking any advices because one day I might be at owner, so Yeah, or you can be a director too. <laughs> yeah, you might be a director too. Okay, so in our ways, we, they have to put into uh, into consideration okay. the advantage of this, the disadvantage of that. Okay. So if we are putting on, if we are thinking about owner's profit because of the shareholders, mm -hmm. is it in, is it sustainable in the long run okay. or not? So they have to put into consideration. But there's conflict already. Okay. The conflict is that we have two, we have different objectives. Mm. So that is the principal agent problem. So the answer is what? D, yeah, okay. the separation of the owners of the firms from a firm's managers. Is it clear? Yes. Solve the diagram shows a firm and imperfect competition changes the objectives of profit maximization to having a maximization. That's which, question 12, right? We'll have this. We'll have on the firm's asset. Yeah, when there is uh, when there is profit maximization, or when you are thinking about changing from profit maximization to revenue maximization, it means you are Increasing that means your average cost is equals to your marginal cost. Mm -hmm. So your average cost equals your marginal cost at what? At okay. ST. At okay. Do you get it here? Yeah. Yeah, at ST. Is it clear? Mm, yeah. S to C. I think it's clear. S to T. S to T, yes. Yeah, so it's C. At C, yes. Yeah. Question. In which statement explains why government decides to increase the highest rates of tax on personal income. So government would want to, you yeah, said, sorry, it said, which statement explains why government decides to increase the highest rates of tax on the personal government. income? Government wants to do that to, to bring about equity. Mm -hmm. That means they reduce, to reduce the gap between the rich and the poor. And when you have to reduce the gap between the rich and the poor, what can you do? You try to put into consideration that human so welfare is more important than efficiency mm. do you get it yeah so that's i see is it clear very clear 14 in certain countries benefits are provided to individuals on low income as their income rises the benefits are reduced and income tax has to be paid what can result from this poverty yeah poverty trap now what is poverty trap that well done <laughs> poverty trap means your an economic system that does not allow you to leave poverty yeah because here, government is trying to, the problem is that government is trying to take away poverty by, what are they trying to do? Government is trying to take away poverty by giving them social benefits. Mm -hmm. But as soon as their income level increases, government starts making them to pay taxes. They're going to go back to poverty. Yeah. Do you get the point? Yes, yes, government is trying to alleviate poverty by giving them social benefits, right? Mm -hmm. Now that their income level is increasing due to government social benefits, mm -hmm. which is a secondary income. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the government feel that or sees that the level of income is increasing, government starts allowing them to pay income taxes. Yeah. So they're going back to poverty trap. Yeah. And poverty trap is what? A system, an economic system 
that does not allow individuals to live to escape poverty. Okay. Clear, right? Right. Okay. An economy requires large inputs of state for its building programs. After political pressure, the government imposes a minimum price on imported foreign steel. When would this innovation to lead economic inefficiency? It will lead to economic inefficiency if competition falls. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's doing. Okay. 16, what happens okay. to economic rent and transfer earnings if the supply of labor becomes perfectly inelastic? If the supply of labor becomes perfectly inelastic, economic rent will increase because economic rent comes from your individual uh, investment. Mm -hmm. But the supply of labor comes with the earnings. Mm. So the earnings will increase. Yes. Yeah, so it's sweet. Yes. Question so, 20, right? No, 17. 17, ah. Mm -hmm. We've done with this paper. The 17, okay, yes. Okay. I'll take it anyway. Uh, the diagram shows the effect of the introduction of a minimum wage in the labor market. We would such a minimum wage would be at least beneficial to workers who are currently employed. We show least beneficial. Yeah. So it means, yeah, the minimum wage is increasing. But if the demand for labor increases in that economy, mm -hmm. so it's because, not because the workers are working, it's because there's demand for more workers. Yeah. So... Firms are willing to employ more workers. Mm. That's why they are willing to pay more. So it's not that the workers are getting any benefit. Do you oh, get the point? Yes, so good. those that are working are not going to be beneficial to this, but yeah. those that they are going to employ will be beneficial. Will be beneficial. So the answer is B. Clear. Okay. 18, which statement about economic growth is not correct? What do you think? Long-term economic growth, they say economic growth creates cost as well as benefit, yes. Long term economic growth is measured by calculating the percentage increase in GDP for one year. No, it's you said they said long term. How can it be one year? Yeah. One year is short term. So the answer is B. Okay. So we'll go to question 19. 19. Uh why is real GDP per head felt to be an imperfect measure of welfare in developed economies? For developed economy, they have what we call restricted content, restricted coverage. There are some things we don't know about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So it's difficult for us to measure to measure the GDP per head with welfare. Mm. So we might talk about using HDI, Human Development Index, yes. But to use GDP per head is difficult because in developed economies, there are some people that are so rich and there are some people that are so poor too. Yeah, both. So the answer is B. Question, okay. no, C, sorry. Restricted scope, yeah. Okay. C, 19 is C. Okay. Question 20. What changes are most likely to reduce the level of income inequality in an economy? If the level of income has to reduce in an economy, Government has to increase progressive tax and okay. reduce indirect tax because indirect tax comes from consumption. Okay. So reducing indirect tax will give will increase purchasing power. Yeah. So that could be, reduce the gap between the rich and the poor. So it's B. B. Yeah. Increase okay. progressive tax. Okay. If government wants to reduce the gap between the rich and the poor, they charge taxes on wealthy people. That is progressive. Mm. Okay. Twenty one. The table gives labor market statistics for Malaysia for January to March 2019. What is the size of Malaysia's labor force? Labor force is the total number of employed and unemployed. Mm -hmm. So 15 million plus 0 0.5 million, that is 15.5 million. So it's B. B, yeah. 22. 22, what would encourage industrial expansion in a region of the high unemployment? 22. So what would encourage industrial expansion? Industrial, industrial expansion would encourage, that means what we make firms. Mm. To, want to, uh, to want to increase or expand. This can only be done if wage rate is not a cost for them. So mm. that means there's no, there's not like minimum wage rate. So it's D, it's an D. internationally negotiated wage rate. Yeah, that means an end to nationally, uh, mm. negotiation, nationally uh, negotiation of wage, wage, which can also be classified as minimum wage. Mm. So that means cost, firms will decide on what they pay, not government deciding. Yeah. So the answer is D. Uh, 23. 23. An island economy has a small manufacturing base, limiting mineral resources, and limited agricultural land. Which development is likely to lead to sustainable growth? Um, train the farmers. Training. Training. Train them. Train them. Yes. That's train sweet. them. You see, yeah. I still have some questions. Uh, 24. Okay. 24. The information at tables taken from a country's national income accounts. What is the value of national income in millions of dollars? Wages is part of the national income. Salary is part of the national income. Unemployment benefit is an income, but it's secondary income because it's an income that is on end. Mm. That means you don't work for it. Government pensions, you don't work for it. Rent. Government pension, you have worked for it, but you are not actively working now. Oh, so okay. it's still social benefit. 
Rent is income, interest is income. So it is 2,000 plus 3,000 plus 7,000 plus 8,000, which is 20,000. C. Okay. 25. In a closed economy with no government sector, the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.6 at all levels of income. There's an increase in private sector investment of $100 million. What will be the increase in national income? It will be change in consumption over change in investment. 0 0.6 divided by 100, which is 60. Million. So yes. it's A. A, yes. Okay, 26, according to liquidity preference theory, which money balances are responsive to change in the end per risk rate? For liquid, liquidity preference theory states that individuals really want liquidity. They want cash. They want money. They want security in the long term. Okay. Not in the long term for benefit, not in the short term. Yeah. So that is what liquidity preference is about. So what would be the response in the interest rate? The active balances must be nothing, but the idle balances must be Everything. working. Yeah. So because if it is if it is not, if it is idle, that means they are leaving their money, they are not using their money. Mm. So banks will be able to have access to it. Yes. But if it is active, then they are not using they are using it. So banks don't have anything to invest on. Mm. Yeah. Do you get the answer? Yes, okay. So it is uh, yes. 27. The bank cash deficit ratio changed from 5% to 10%. What will be the result? For bank deposit ratio, it means the percentage of, listen please, bank sure. deposit ratio is the percentage of the deposit or cash mm. that banks are able to keep from the customer's deposit. Okay. The percentage of what you are able to keep as a bank from your customer's deposit. Mm -hmm. So if government is giving a range of 5% to 10%, it will reduce the credit facility, it will reduce the credit balance for banks. Yeah. So that means 50%. That would be credit multiplier will reduce by 50 percent. Okay. 28. In a developing econo economy, which policies must likely to increase the rate of economic growth that respect economic development? Economic growth, a removal of a removal of uh, the regulation. Yes. Okay. 29. Which yes. policies must likely to conflict with the government's aim of price stability in the short run? If government wants to stabilize price. When you when government increases spending on education mm -hmm. and health, it is good because at that point in time, a lot of people would have jobs. Uh, a lot of people will be educated and be attractive to employment. Mm -hmm. So they might be able to get jobs. But if they are able to get jobs, the demand in the economy would increase. Okay. And if demand increases, aggregate demand increases, inflation would rise. Sure. So the answer is A. Do you get the point? Very. Very. What is most likely to be an appropriate government action to reduce both balance of payments, current account surplus, and the rate of amplitude? If government have to increase balance, balance, surplus balance budget, uh, surplus balance of payment is good for the economy, but it's a problem too because it means that you are thinking more of export or imports. You know, you are thinking more of exports. Mm -hmm. So what about those things? You will finish your resources one day. Did you get the point? Yes, yes, yes. You are going to the extent that all your resources will be done. Mm -hmm. So that's another problem about balance or surplus balance of payment. Mm -hmm. Do you get the point? So what will government do? Government might reduce import tariff so that those resources that we can still buy from abroad to convert into finished goods, we can buy instead of using all our resources. Yeah. So Do you get the point I'm talking about yes, here? Yes, yes. So government should remove tariffs on imports. As a result, import or uh, the price of imports reduces. Mm -hmm. There won't be inflation. Or, there won't be high inflation, yes, yes, yes. and the economy will be able to grow without using all its resources. So D. Yes. Clear. Very clear. Good. Very clear. <laughs>